August 2014. And we're looking now at the side of the Abrams building, the east side. And right up there is the main entrance to the Abrams building. This is the east side shot also of the Abrams building. And behind me is one of the main entrances and exits to this compound, which has existed for quite some time. Right up there by the building where the traffic's moving, that's Hansa Ali, which is just one street over from Holzhausenstrasse. This is a back shot going back towards the Abrams building. We're now standing in front of the Abrams building. Yeah, I know that officially this is not the Abrams building anymore, but for me, it will always be the Abrams building. So I would appreciate if you just bear with me. As we pan over here, back there is where Grunberg Park is located. It's kind of mysterious to me that they don't cut the grass out here in front of the building. I don't know if you can tell how long the grass is out here, but in some places it's over my knees. This has been here since 1996. This is a shot to the west of the former Abrams building. And as we look here to the east side, going back towards the area we were just in, looking towards Hansa Ali and the east side gate, I wanted to show everyone on the side the commemoration plaque that now resides here in memory of the Second World War as well as what this building was used for. It's a very large commemoration plaque that they have up here. It's on the ground as I hope you can tell. I thought this is very thoughtful of the city of Frankfurt and the university to keep this plaque here for the students and for visitors of this area to remember the Second World War and the great history that it represents. And I know you may be able to read German, so that's why I'm taking my time to make sure that everything gets into view. We're now inside of the former Abrams building in the lobby, right in the front, looking towards the Eisenhower Rotunda. And wow! This lobby is huge. It's much, it's much bigger than I remember. The display in the middle of the floor is of artwork and it has glass cubes on top of it. This is the main entrance way to the building where we were just standing. I see cameras in this building, <laughs> so I'm going to have to be speeding and careful with capturing footage. Behind us here is the Eisenhower Rotunda. And back in the 80s and 90s, for sure, this place used to be a, an area where you can go and have something to eat. This sign is on the outside of Eisenhower Rotunda. And it says, Eisenhower Rotunda, in honor of General of the Army, Dwight David Eisenhower, dedicated 7th June, 1989, uh, General Colin L. Powell, Commander, U.S. 
Army Forces Command. Well, we've moved on to the left side now of the rotunda, just down the hall here on the first floor. And this area, oddly, looks a lot like it looked to me back in the 80s. Right down here, right down there on the left is the rotunda and to the right is the main entranceway where the artwork is displayed. Oh, and behind us, 